Are you confused on trying to figure out what rating you need? CBRN, NBC, CBA, RCA. We're gonna talk about that right now. We got three respirators that are great examples of each one here. What do each one of these acronyms stand for? CBRN stands for chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear. NBC stands for nuclear, biological, and chemical. And CBA, RCA stands for chemical, biological, aerosol, riot control agents. CBRN is a lot of times used as a catch-all for a lot of different type of hardcore chemical filtration capabilities. All CBRNs are NBC rated and they are CBA RCA rated, but not all NBC are CBRN and not all CBA RCA are CBRN or NBC for that matter. But actually it has a very specific capability. It has radiological protection. And one of the things that CBRN respirator is gonna have that a non-CBRN respirator won't have is it's gonna have butyl rubber face seals. The SG 400 BB features a butyl rubber face here on the outside. This is a fully flexible butyl rubber gas mask. This right here is kind of what people picture when they think of CBRN respirators. Another uh, component for CBRN is the actual filter component. This right here is a A2B2 E2K2 P3RD rated filter. It would be what I consider the lowest CBRN rated type of filter, depending on which governing body that you're working with. If you're working with CE, the European standards, you know, you're gonna be able to actually get a little bit, get something like this rated that way. But if you're working with NIOSH, you're gonna need that radiological kind of react component to the filter. Now let's talk a little bit about NBC. Again, NBC stands for nuclear, biological, and chemical. NBC is kind of an antiquated term. It's not really used too much in the market anymore. However, there is a difference between CBRN and NBC, and that is that radiological component. Now, NBC, typically, you do need a butyl rubber face shield for NBC for the biological and chemical agents. Typically, it's gonna be kind of like mustard gas. You're gonna need it for um, anything that's kind of an acidic gas that might eat away at the uh, material that's why you need a butyl rubber face seal. From a filter standpoint, NBC doesn't need the REACT component. If you have two filters and one says the REACT on the, the filtration capability and the other one does not, you can still protect yourself against a lot of uh, biological and chemical and nuclear agents actually. If you're looking for an NBC filter, there are two filtration capabilities that you really need to look for. Usually it's acetic gas, and inorganic gases. You need to look at the filtration rating. So the rating itself usually is a letter and number. The most common ones that you're gonna see are gonna be the letter A, B, E, and K. So each one of these stand for a different type of filtration capability. A is for organic vapor, B is for inorganic gases, E is for acetic gases, and K is for ammonia. So when you're looking to get like an NBC filter, again, you wanna look at the rating capabilities. For NIOSH in particular, they gotta be tested together. However, you can actually, with CE, or the European standard, you can actually use a NBC filter or a CBR filter on a different CBR respirator, and you're still kind of within code, and they should work together. Most CBRN, NBC, and CBA, RCA filters are 40 millimeters. There are bayonet style filters out there that provide some of that same filtration capabilities, but I think the big reason why they don't is because 40 millimeters have a little bit more filtration capability. Basically, you can put in more of the filtration components within that filter. Finally, let's talk about CBA, RCA rated filters and gas masks. Again, CBA, RCA stands for chemical, biological, aerosol, riot control agent. So there are actually two major components to CBA RCA. The first one is the filtration capability again. It needs to be able to usually filter out organic vapors and acetic gases, but you can sometimes get away with just organic vapor and inorganic vapors. And then the second component, the actual quality of the respirator itself. When you get a CBA RCA rated respirator, you're gonna want an impact resistant face shield. And better yet, you want it to be tested to like ANSI standards, you know, safety glasses, anything that can be impact resistant, anything that can kind of take on a blunt force to the face. All our respirators all have some type of impact resistant face shield. These two here are considered impact resistant. This one over here is ballistic resistant. All right, now let's talk about a, a few common applications where you might need to wear a CBRN or an NBC or a CBA RCA rated gas mask. The situation where you might need a CBRN is when you're actually in an active radioactive uh, facility where you're gonna need to be protected from radiological materials. You typically see people wearing CBRN during a uh, disaster cleanup, a chemical cleanup. Um, you might also see them during uh, emergency response situations. And of course, in like nuclear power plants, they're gonna be 
plethora or on a nuclear submarine, uh, any, anything where there, there's potential nuclear fallout possibility, you're probably gonna see people having CBR and respirators where they can easily access them. So CBRN supersedes NVC, but a lot of times when you see someone that wants to wear like an, uh, an NVC filter, they're usually trying to protect against that biological or chemical attack. CBA RCA rated respirators and gas masks, uh, you're gonna mostly see those during things like chemical spills or uh, accidental release of dangerous gases, a riot control situation. A lot of police officers are gonna have access to this type of things. First responders, some fire departments. So there's a little bit of information on the difference between CBRN, NBC, and CBA RCA rated filters and gas masks. Hopefully this video has helped you make a decision on which respirator you need to buy. If you're ready to make a purchase, go ahead and click now. Follow Parcel Safety for more tips on filtration ratings.